take two. Um, it's Ryan Mitchell, and I'm here with the one and only Char Jassel. Hey, Ryan. Hi, Char. And of course, we're sitting down, y'all, with social media star turned actress Lala Milan. Hey, Ryan. Oh, hey, hi. Char. Hey. <laughs> and actor Leland B. Martin. Now, these are what two up, of the stars <laughs> of BET's Boomerang, which is executive uh, executive produced by Halle Berry and Lena Way. Now, yes. Boomerang is a half-hour comedy yeah. fueled by romance, friendship, gender, politics, love, and, of course, the sex. Do you all watch this show? I mean, the Ooh, sex I mean, is... the sex is there. It's Ooh. grown. Yes. <laughs> now, the story <laughs> picks up roughly 25 years after the original movie and centers on the offspring of the iconic main characters, Marcus Grant, and Angela Lewis, which we know were played by Eddie Murphy and Harry right. Berry. And then, of course, Jacqueline Boyer, which was played by the one and only Robin the Givens. All right. So welcome. Oh, my God, y'all. Welcome to Channel Q. Thank you. We are <laughs> hyped to be here. Exactly. Right. Appreciate y'all for having us. <laughs> no, I'm very excited because let me tell you this. The commitment is real. I mm. binged all of season one this morning. Dang. I was playing no games because That's I wanted to be well show. informed. And see, Dang. I was a bit more responsible because <laughs> I did it on Saturday. She did. Um, <laughs> she did. She she had to call me out. Like, was, look, she's no. obviously the responsible one in general around here. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. You want to like crash the really, night no, before I'm test. Really good, no, he was busy. Was just, yeah, yeah, there was a lot going on. But I wanted to make sure that I knew like the show in, in its entirety. And y'all yeah. are absolutely stars. Oh, thank you I have so to much. say this. And I'm not even being like fake about it. Like this, y'all are re- How has it felt since season one has come out? And you've seen the response and you're on the heels of season two. Mm-hmm. What are you most excited about? I'm excited for people to see the difference between season one and season two. For me, season two absolutely just destroyed season one. Honestly, like it honestly should have been season one as far as I'm concerned. Did y'all feel like it was kind of like oh like a practice run with season (laughs) one? I would say me personally. I think that I wouldn't say it was a practice one. I just think we absolutely stepped it up. Mm. Yeah. You know, we laid the yeah. foundation in season one, but season two is built in off of the of that foundation. I think yeah. season one they were finding it. You know, yeah. they were yeah. trying to find the storylines, trying to figure out what works, especially when mm-hmm. you have an ensemble cast of six different people and yeah. trying to figure out what stories to tell and what not to tell. I think, you know, with social media and the thing and, and, and the like, you know, we really got information as far as what the fans wanted and came back with a second show that was mm-hmm. just bonkers. It's, it's so crazy. funny that you mentioned that Lala because I was telling Leland off air that because you know we got the screener so we saw yeah. the first two like the we premiere mm-hmm. yes. and I felt that the first two episodes were better than the entire first season. <laughs> <laughs> he gave like, like, a political answer. I'm <laughs> keeping it real. It's, yeah. like, it was, a joke. it's on point. It is, it's it is. good it's and good. I enjoyed season one and what goes around comes back around. Hello. She <laughs> going like to play. Like, <laughs> get that damn song out of my head I swear. <laughs> no, actually, so we were talking about on Twitter there was this thread of like of the best like fake songs from like re- like TV shows from scripted shows. from scripted yeah. series and I was like oh my god Lala's song needs to be there immediately <laughs> it's so good it's listen like, I was so hyped to be able to get into the studio and to pretend to be a rapper yeah I oh I wish I could be a rapper so that was my moment to shine to live it I'm out. so yeah. jealous Lena make me a rapper next season <laughs> I'm super I jealous. Can see it though. You know what I'm saying? Ari, for that's sure. That's the whole issue with Ari. He need to stay focused in his own realm, right? Like yeah, he definitely does. Ari's He's all too over the damn place. <laughs> Way too distracted. Oh my gosh, he's all over the place. Now, one thing that I noticed, I was like, is this, you know, FCC compliant? The sex in this show, which I mentioned in the Girl, intro, it's really grown. The sex offered I'm us like... a deal. <laughs> <laughs> they did. No, the way season two opens up, my God, oh, Bryson. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I was clutching. I was blushing. Uh-huh. It was just. Scene after scene was back to back to back. He was he was timing it. It goes there. The entire season goes there. Yeah, I I I noticed. It's very explicit, you know, for this not to be on, you know, show. I'm I'm no conservative, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, how does this get on the BET? Okay, look, (laughs) everybody likes sex. You know, it's sex. And we gave it to y'all. So I kind of want to. And and y'all be eating. They be eating. That's another thing we're going to touch on. But I want to come back to like just you as just people, Lila. You. One blew up on social media. Ooh. I mean, I'm so proud of everything you've done. But how has it been kind of transitioning from a social media star to an actress? Because that feels like completely two different lanes. And mm-hmm. especially out here to be taken seriously in that lane can be very difficult, That's right? That's a valid point. I'm glad that you touched on it, okay? Going from social media, first of all, doing skits and everything, in my mind, that's kind of acting. Yeah. You know, it's just um, not as... 
structured. It's not as structured, mm-hmm. I would say, as acting is. So for me to be able to have the opportunity to transition on an actual TV show and everything like that, scripts being directed, I was so excited and I was honored because that's what I had been doing skits for years for. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. been wanting to get into that. So the transition, I would say, for me was effortless. Yeah. But I'm not perfect in it so i'm taking the extra steps classes all that extra stuff and just being under great mentors to be able to be a beast in my craft do you think people in this industry are ever going to not box you in in just that realm of social media like they'll be able to put Mm -hmm. especially after the show because Mm -hmm. i feel like after watching the first season and even you know starting the second season Girl, you're a star in the sense of like you are Thank an actress. You. I really genuinely felt like I received Tia that. has a lot of depth to her, and I Thank wasn't you. expecting that. <laughs> Good, I a lot wasn't, of people. I wasn't. <laughs> um, do I think people are ever going to stop? They ain't yeah. got no choice. Yeah. You know no, what I'm right. saying? Tell I'm putting my foot on their necks, yeah. and I say Preach. that in the most humble way possible because I'm tired of people thinking, "Oh, she's just that Instagram girl." Nah, I'm just that girl that started on Instagram. Yeah. We just getting started. Coming to get that bag. Hello, okay. <laughs> and I have to kind of piggyback off of that question because I was just watching you know the little the Oprah's new series you know she's going around on tour yes. and she just interviewed uh, Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer said that in um, Hustlers how nervous she was around the stripper stripping scene like mm-hmm. she knew it was coming up but then she was very nervous mm-hmm. your character is introduced to us mm-hmm. as a stripper mm-hmm. was there any you know Girl, trepidation I love stripping. around that let me tell you something <laughs> you were fine if I had a big butt and some big titties and I was thick as hell <laughs> I would have been a stripper before I was an actress I ain't even gonna lie to I mean, you the there. I'm, not, I'm super confident. That's you know what I'm saying? Bags. I like dancing. Walking I got out. rhythm. I can make the cheeks move and all that. So when it came time to be able to do that on the screen, I'm like, let's do it. Yeah. What the hell's that? But wait, wasn't there ever, do you feel like you worked through your comp? Like, because I like to project myself. So okay. if I was to think, oh, I have all these followers on social media. Yeah. I'm already dealing with like negativity coming left mm-hmm. and right. People probably commenting on my body. Mm-hmm. I would not have the confidence to go shake my ass on a pole like that. Right? Honey, listen. People gonna always have something to say. Oh, you know, all the more reason why I took the Savage X Fenty deal to do lingerie. Mm. Because one, people see me, they automatically see me as a joke. You know, yeah. so I'm doing a whole bunch of different things so they can stop seeing me as that. Honey, I'm allowed to be, slim girls can be sexualized and feel beautiful yeah. doing that. So I was happy to be able to take on that role so that way I can project that onto other slim figure women. Yeah. Honey, show your body, you are fine. Yes. Yes. Now, Leland, I have to ask you in context of the show. Well, this is for both of you all. Yes. Um, but in context of the show, were this were, was, was there any pressure to live up to the movie and like the original cast? It had Leila mm. Rashawn and Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy, and Halle Berry. Like it's intense. <laughs> it is intense, but I, I feel like we had to do our own thing. Bingo. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was written what was on the page is what we had to attack. Mm-hmm. You know, as actors and actresses, mm-hmm. we just had to make it work. Yeah. You know, I can't really be worried about what happened back in 1992 and the great hit that they made because we knew that if we if we follow the blueprint, we're going to do the same ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was no real pressure. It's just you got to be yourself and you got to, you know, attack the work in the right way. Well, I think that's interesting because both of your characters, Lala, your character's a lesbian. Yes. And uh, Leland, your character's bisexual. Mm-hmm. I feel but like considered pansexual pan, yeah, i mean honey, i mean we don't know okay what is that so pansexual is <laughs> when you don't you know how there are certain certain people who exist in the middle like they go by they them pronouns yeah. mm. it's called non-binary so bisexual reduces your attraction to only, specifically men and specifically women mm. pansexual opens you up to everybody to everyone because oh. some people okay. don't identify as men and women some gotcha. people identify as just people yeah but i think nice. the layers of that <laughs> especially it's more acceptable to like take in lesbians on television mm-hmm. women Easily. exploring their sexuality yeah. for but sure. for men that's intense right and especially yeah. adding in the the intersectional layer of you being a black man Absolutely. masculine masculine uh-huh. presenting yep. what how was that for you taking on a role like that because that feels like a leap that feels like oh, oh i don't know how people are going to respond especially because your character is a hua uh, is a hua <laughs> <laughs> That's uh-huh. the, that's, uh-huh. that's uh-huh. La La uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's my uh-huh. nice way of saying uh-huh. it on the radio. We just automatically Lala, you get it on sight. No, and in season two, it becomes more of a hua. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, you, okay. Know, you, you get to see more of the hua. You know? I, do like to look at, I do like to look at Ari. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh-huh. Which well, means good. I like to look at your face. Well, I appreciate that, brother. Everybody you know I do. I hope, I hope so everybody fine. comes to watch it. That's the thing. Goodness gracious. He is... He-
sex symbol. Amen. Okay? I'll take it. All the girls and the dudes just be like, he is fine. You know? I posted him on TikTok. They like, who's that in the jacket? Nobody. Huh? No, okay. tell them who I am. Move. I'm, she, Move. I'm still la, single. La. <laughs> <laughs> tell them who I am. But, but what, are you, what, are you, what are you thinking, Leland, like when it comes to this character? What, what, what really jumped out for you to say, I want to do this role? Well, to be honest, well, first of all, it's the check. You know, oh, let's keep it all the way one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I am an actor. Yeah. Okay. You know, if it's living or breathing, I can play it. You know, yeah. straight like that. Nice. Um, but I, I mean, it's it's about attacking the work. Yeah. You know, um, this is the opportunity that was presented to me, and um, you know, I have no problem playing it. And then looking at the, the the aspects of representation, a lot of people tell me that you know the B is silent when it comes to the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. You know, and it has a lot of underrepresentation. Um, so I just feel like being able putting a face to that, especially as you say, an attractive face to that. That even helps yeah. even more, you know, get the message of inclusion out there and representation. But it's a double sided, like, sword, right? Mm -hmm. it, it feels like representation, everyone wants it, For but sure. if it's not the representation that everyone can identify with, yeah. then it feels like, man, that can come back on you and just the show. Mm -hmm. How did y'all navigate that that specific storytelling? Because that both of your characters are a part of this community. Well, you got to think about the captain, the captain of the flagship, though. That's yeah. Nina Waith. Yeah. You know, you know she's going to get it right. Hello. You know, like I, I knew going into this role that I could trust Lena Waithe mm -hmm. with the depiction of this particular role and that it was going to be authentic for yeah. sure. For me personally, I would have to say I was excited to step into the character, a lesbian character, just because one, representation, but two, just being able to show range. You know mm. what I mean? Um, having scenes with a female, having a girlfriend, things like that. Yeah. I've never experienced that in real life, you know? And they say every girl has thought about it. I actually, I hadn't, but being able to... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, this is cool. And it's, it was really lit because it was an experience. You know, yeah. and I was just like, wow, this is really what they mean when they say showing range. And honey, I show some range. <laughs> <laughs> Especially season I mean, two. It's believable. Oh, I, can't wait. I love that that Lala's character has a steady relationship. I just need Ari. Mm -hmm. I need Leland's character to get with it because you're still out there. Like I said, being a hua. He, he being a hua. He, you That's know what? The word of the day. And it, <laughs> in season two, we still being a hua, but we starting to we starting to mature a little okay. bit. We're starting to narrow things down a little bit. You'll see a little. It's you know good. something more serious. So yeah. how yeah. fun was it, Lala? I noticed that in the premiere for season two, you all kind of did a nod to the school days. Mm -hmm. Girl, how fun was? <laughs> That twerk, twerk, listen, twerk, twerk, twerk. I had uh, we done touched it was on a three different first things: the major Stripper, rats, right? rapping, and then um, dancing. Yeah, mm -hmm. they Tia is out here cutting up. And I mean, and I love it. The girls could never. Hello, because <laughs> the bomb part is like I really like all this stuff in real life. Okay. You know, yeah. so being able to do pay homage to that movie, especially that scene, I was so honored. Like I real life did rehearsals mm -hmm. multiple times after a freaking 12, 13 hour shoot day. Mm -hmm. Like I was dedicated and I was happy that I committed and it came out flawlessly. Your girl looked good in them spanks, honey. Didn't she though? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and Leland, I love your character's line uh, in season two. You all will see this tonight, mm -hmm. okay? Ribs are an aphrodisiac. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Ribs keep are an, an eye out. Keep an eye out for that scene. I thought it was hilarious <laughs> that, how Ari oh, described it. Starts off one way. <laughs> Ribs, <laughs> Ribs so, are, Go ahead, Ryan. So what did y'all learn about yourselves while playing your characters? Ooh, that's mm. so good. Mm. I learned that I'm fearless. Mm. I'm very fearless. And I say that to say there was one scene in particular where I was so nervous, honey, and your girl don't get nervous. What yeah. scene? What when scene? I tell you my heart was beating fast and I could feel it through my armpits, child, I was like, ooh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's I a scene in to, season two? It's, it's coming scene up. It's season two, oh, okay. yeah. It's okay. coming up. Uh -oh. <laughs> and literally, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and tackle this. Hands were sweating yeah. and all that. But, honey, wow. once I, like, before even doing it in, in the midst of, I was like, this is what the fuck I came here for. Yeah. And once I completed it, I was like, dang, there ain't nothing they gonna put in front of me that I'm gonna be scared of. Like, yeah. I got this. Wow. Yeah, and I feel the same way. I feel like after Ari, there's nothing that I can't play. Mm -hmm. I, I am an actor for sure, for mm -hmm. sure. You know, um, and just the, the fearlessness of not worrying about what anybody has to think of me, has says of me, or anything of that nature, just being able to be true to the character, I, I mean, is... For me, I didn't know if I could do it or not. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I mean, we all came through and really did our yeah. jobs, especially yeah. in the second season. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm like an auntie watching y'all. I know. Like, I'm like, I'm emotional. <laughs> you know what's cool? I'll expand on that. Yeah. 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 Ye
expand on what he said. Yeah, please. In the first season, there were certain things where each of us had our hangups, and yeah. we was like, eh. Like, you know. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? we literally what was that uncomfortableness, though? What, what, did you feel like you weren't sure how people were going to perceive certain things? Because, Not I mean, that. there was, there was a, there was a, uh, a, the, one of the episodes in the last season, the Me Too episode. Mm. It really talked about oh, some that was one of my favorite, actually. Deep conversations yes. where you're hearing different perspectives and really mm. shows that as African American people, we are not a monolith, right? Very oh, true. yes. Especially, Touch what's the character's it. name that was like being, I called her the Facebook oh, girl? Oh, Crystal Brittany. Oh, yeah. my God. Gosh, no, those Brittany. comments yeah. were. Shout ugh. out to Brittany, she's amazing. Uh, yeah, she's amazing, everything. but her character in that episode got under my skin like <laughs> none <laughs> other. Some of yes. the stuff she was saying, and, I was like, yeah. it just felt like Facebook personified. And what was uh, the uncomfortableness? Can we speak yeah. on that? Um, for one, like different viewpoints and things like mm. that yeah. uh, for me personally, but I wasn't speaking about myself. I was referring to a situation with mm. Lele. <laughs> okay, Lele, <laughs> tell us the tea. Well, Welcome I mean, to Channel Q. Can, but no, 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 it's all good. to say, whether or not you share it, the way this man overcame it mm-hmm. and like had it looking on screen, you would never know, you know, how he felt about doing certain things. And it's like, you good. So break yeah. it down. Well, I gotta you know, know just what you brought up a little earlier about the, the hyper masculine society that we live in mm-hmm. and the way yeah. that people put you in these boxes. They're like, well, you know, you don't want to get pigeonholed into a certain role because mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you get seen in that certain light and you can't, you know, go anywhere else or think anything else. Um, So with that, I mean, it was just tough for me, you know, especially, uh, I'll be honest, the physical piece of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really, really delving into the, because like like La said, I haven't had an experience like that in in my life either, you know, a homosexual experience. So that became something that was, something that was new to me, something that had to. And you had a kiss. I had a kiss. You didn't have a kiss, did you? You just had like a a bedroom scene. Not not last season. Not last season. (laughs) Oh, well, excuse me. That bedroom scene was in, okay, that was a moment for yeah. me having to when be Simone on top into the bedroom yes mm-hmm. I yeah. was on top of my girlfriend mm-hmm. um and mind you like I was in my panties and stuff like that it mm-hmm. wasn't uncomfortable because me and her talk we cool yeah, I right, try whenever right. I have scenes like that to actually get comfortable with the person as a person right. so that way when we go into it character it's like nothing I feel like yeah. that's the only way you can mm-hmm. do it because we as the viewer we'd yeah. be able to tell if you were uncomfortable exactly <laughs> and, but the interest the funny thing was I just was like are you uncomfortable I had to make sure my cat <laughs> wasn't sweating because I'm spraying my legs I'm like you don't smell no fish or nothing, oh my you? god but seriously, Lily, I think there's something there though to talk about kind of how mm-hmm. are we navigating these conversations For when sure. it talks about when we're talking about bisexuality mm-hmm. or even homosexuality yeah. in our our community because right. we're intersectional. We are black people first. Absolutely. For sure. So how 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 do you think we navigate these conversations with this show? Well, this show, it, it opens you up for that conversation in the first place. And it, it normalizes things. I mean, you see a friendship of people that don't necessarily worry about sex. Mm. It's not a huge thing to anybody in the show itself. It's a very normalized thing. Even though we're displaying it, it's a very normalized thing amongst the friends. So with that, it's kind of showing how things should be, to mm. be honest with you. Honestly. You know yeah. what I mean? I agree. Like, yeah. it, it no one be... has any hangups about Ari. Exactly. Uh-huh. 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 None. They they just no one even Ari. really bought it up until, nah. I feel like, the middle of the season. Even it's David, so the funny. real churchy one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you would think, you know, oh. he's a, a preacher and he's mm-hmm. battling his one night stands. Listen. <laughs> and in and Steve Harvey suits outside For of the sure. club. Fact. That yeah. really yeah. touched you know. me just from being from the South and oh. knowing the show's based in Atlanta and, <laughs> yeah. and seeing like him really just experiencing pride yes. and being like, y'all are loved. And, and that was just like, wow. Yes. And that's yeah. what yeah, no, literally, his yeah. character is so good and y'all going to see him evolve so much. David's mm-hmm. character is amazing. He's great. The Just his journey Y'all going to eat it up. Yeah. Literally, there's a little bit of everybody in at least one of our characters. I guarantee you that. Now, this season, you all have guest stars, a lot of different yes. guest stars. <laughs> and we see Jaleel White. Yes. Uh-huh. I said, is that Urkel? I know. Reverend I Urkel? Know. Urkel? Oh, like, Reverend. Kim Reverend Wayne. John John. Yes. Which you, I've seen you have been compared to her a lot on online, on Twitter in, in, in particular. Uh, so did you did you work with her like yes, one-on-one? Girl, okay. Hand I'm hand looking forward legend. to that. When I tell you we clicked. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Were you nervous like, to meet her? Because you know how they always say, don't meet your Ike, like your favorite people because mm-hmm. they turn out to be terrible people. <laughs> that happened, but it wasn't with Kim. Okay. Oh, so okay. literally, nice to know. <laughs> when I tell you she is everything, it was so funny because she was in the trailer just getting her uh, hair done and I'm looking like you know and the one thing I want to say is y'all ain't hear this from me okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> but everybody says that so I was like hey Kim I'm Lala 
And once I warmed up to her and I realized she cool, I was like, girl, my favorite thing that you always say. You know, yes, that's a I'm nod to her in the living color yes. character. Yeah. So I have to add, oh, go ahead. Oh, Lisa. no, no, just saying, I didn't get to necessarily work with her, but I got to work uh, right behind her, and yeah. she's a master at improv. Ooh. I mean, the way I mean, she just comes up with stuff. <laughs> of course, of course, but seeing it in person. Okay. You know what I mean? You. Like, when you talk about seeing people yeah. in, in person for that first time, I'm like, wow, she can just come up with stuff off the cuff Man. every single time. And you know, some people can't do that, club. people, especially no. because y'all are y'all are scripted, right? And yes. I even wonder with your character, like, how much of it was improv and, mm. and it, with any of the, the, the characters Thankfully, there. Thankfully, we have amazing directors and yep. showrunners. Shout out to Dam Davis, oh, who to allows Davis. us the opportunity to do improv. She say, give me what's on the script first we do a couple takes yeah. then she'd be like throw it and I'd be like this is me yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. do it yeah. you know yeah. and a lot of the lines that they use of mine actually be ones that I improv which is that really doesn't surprise lit. me that because I see a lot of you in your character nice. yeah. Yeah. they let yeah. us be a lot more free in season 2 than they did okay. in season even more wow. sure. yeah. that's exciting so, really so mm-hmm. just on the heels of speaking of some of the guest stars I have to ask you all both who are some of your Hollywood heroes who are some people that you've looked up to in this industry I love mm. that question that's beautiful I love that question oh it's easy for me Will and Denzel. I mean, you know, those oh, are first William name basis type yes. of people. Mm-hmm. Nice. You know what I'm saying? That's just super easy. Yeah. I would have to say um, they are absolutely amazing as well. And I also feel like, um, gosh, forgive me, I'm forgetting her name. She's always, she's a lot of times with Denzel Washington. Sana. No, I'm sorry. She played in Fences, y'all. Help me out. Oh, Viola Davis. Oh, Viola Davis. Yes. Yes. How to yes. get away with murder. Yes. Annalise yes. Keating. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Part. When I say <laughs> her range is yeah. everything yeah. to me, yeah, she's, she's so good. Yeah. Yeah. She's so, like, aspirational for me. Are for there real. any roles that you want to be able to say, this is on my bucket list? I want to be able to do this. I want to play a crackhead. Oh, wow. Oh, oh I do. Wow. I mean, the range Listen, is there. The ra- I mean, you could be Zendaya here for you. <laughs> no, but see, she'd have a comedic twist. <laughs> exactly. I want to see you Listen, do a dramatic one if you I do it. I would love to do... Don't have me tickled. Listen, <laughs> I would really like to do that because, mind you, to show... There's a lot of range in a crackhead. Yeah. Honestly. They're just the kids. aspect of addiction and yeah. then the personality, you know, so it's the struggle moments, yeah. then it's the personable moments showing that they're still people. Like, yeah. I would like to be able to step into that role one day seriously wow. that's really dope shoot I, I i'm not that deep with it like i honestly <laughs> i just want to play opposite of will or denzel okay. like i just yeah. want to be in one of them roles one of them blockbuster movies maybe yeah. action joint or like something denzel's like denzel's son yeah you know what i'm saying will's co-worker exactly. or something like that <laughs> something, yeah. something along those lines yeah. you know bad so boys four with yeah. all the like oh, okay. success that you've all kind of and, and really starting to garner i feel like mm-hmm. how do you remain humble out of your experiences because obviously you have your friends that you probably started this with when they knew you before like Lala mm-hmm. with the million followers Leland before he was on the hit show how do you how do you stay humble for people that want to be in this position being like you can't forget yourself it's a natural thing for me like yeah. it's so funny when people say you're so humble I'm like what did you expect right. I'd be mm. caught off guard when people say that because at the end of the day I'm always going to be me and at any moment this stuff can be stripped away Fact you know what I mean yeah. and I feel like just knowing that and always wanting more as well allows me to maintain my humility yeah. you know yeah. yeah I'm humbled by the people who have more than me I mean, we st- I'm still striving to get to a level mm-hmm. of, of excellence. So we working. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm on a humble mentality of I got to get to that next plate. I got to get mm-hmm. to that next that next bag, that next, you know, whatever it is. So there's no time for any of that. And plus, by the way, I was in my 30s by the time this all hit off. So I was already me, you yeah. know, working those night shifts, working right. those regular That's jobs. True. You know, That's I was true. already kind of had an idea of who yeah. you were. Yeah. 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 So basically, when a bag hit, you're going to lose all humility. <laughs> got it. <laughs> it already hit. Why would you it. talking about? <laughs> I mean, listen, we got to get boomer to at least six seasons for syndication we do. They need and them. residuals. Yes, I agree. You know? I agree. I agree. I agree. Let's go. He already been acting different after season two. I wasn't going to say <laughs> it. Better. But I, I he became just been acting real. Mature. What are we saying? It's he had a barber yeah. from the set today you talking right. about I got to get ready. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. sir. He's like, yeah. like, season yeah. two. I'm like, okay. Uh, I get manicures now. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we, on, love now. we love the self-care. We love men with good nail yeah, beds. Come on now. We love men with mm-hmm. good nail beds. We can't stand to see that little dirt line under there. Okay, don't come to me with those cracked, those plumber hands. Nothing wrong with plumbers. 
<laughs> but moisturize right. and get you your cuticles trimmed. Yeah, under there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the corona is going it's around. What did you call it, Ryan? What's it's the cor- it's Corvid. Corvid. It's the cor- it's, the, it's not yes, what's called the scientific gave it a whole Corvid nineteen. Listen, yeah, something like swine flu and H one N one all day. Yeah. Okay, so I do want to know this though. When it the idea of like you being a part of this show and doing everything that you're doing, I, I, one, I'm so excited for season two to drop because Thanks. y'all, I mean, just from alone from house, and we're going to the premiere are. tomorrow, right? Yes, we are, we are, through. we'll be there, yes, please, we will be please. there. Um, <laughs> do you feel like, especially anyone that's watching you guys, I feel like it's just inspiring to see where you are. Is there any advice that you could give to fellow creators, specifically fellow black creators Absolutely. who want to join and be into the space? I always say this and I'm going to say it until I feel like I can't say it no more. Do not stop because you're not because you feel like you're not making any progress. Yeah. Okay. A lot of times people feel stagnant and they just be like, it's not working out for me and they stop. But literally I was putting in work for five and still putting in work yeah. to still be where I'm trying to get to. And eventually you'll look back and be like, dang, progress was made. I just never actually stopped in the moment to realize how far I've come. So mm. just don't stop. And along the way, don't care about what nobody have to say because you can only please one person and it's who? Self. Hello. Amen. Yeah. And amen. Because well listen, said. that grind is tough. Mm-hmm. That grind is tough. There are a lot of nights where you don't know whether or not this is going to work. There's no guarantees in this business. Mm-hmm. I mean, you 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 pass the bar, you're a lawyer. You yeah. know what I mean? It's guaranteed. You you pass certain certifications. Mm-hmm. You have that job already waiting on you. There's no out here. It's yeah, not. out here it's yeah. a dog eat dog world. So you got to be tenacious and you got to go at it and can't have no quit in you. Because if you got that quit up in you, it ain't meant for you. But how do you keep how do you keep that motivation going? Because for me, it would like be. Like in what ways do you practice yeah. the self care of it all? What's how the do you maintain the momentum? When you're hungry, what do you do? You, you eat. eat. Yeah. Yeah. When you're starving, you're gonna find ways to get food no matter what. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep that hunger. Right. Okay. Yeah. You gotta remember. You gotta remember what the hell you going for. And and at the end of the day, until you grab that, honey, you got to keep on persevering. I'm never stopping. Absolutely. I don't care. I'm never, ever comfortable. When we on set, I'm still making content for social <laughs> media because I still need engagement. Like, I'm always going. I'm never going to stop being hungry. I'm always hungry. That Period. vision, That vision that you saw in the very beginning that you started off with. If that's not where you are, you got to keep going. Yeah. Point blank, period. Like, I know for me, I saw it from the beginning. And I know I'm not at that destination, so I got to mm-hmm. keep grinding. You know, and if you're along that journey, you're not there at that final destination, you got to keep going. Uh, well, amen to that. I mean, seriously. One Where's my thing. bell? <laughs> In addition to that, let something that you said, which is so true, these checks... They're not guaranteed. After one gig is over, you might collect cute residuals, but they're not the initial payment. You know what I mean? On a regular nine to five job, you go in, that check is automatically coming. This, it got to keep coming. Okay? The more you make, the more you like to spend. Okay? And if you keep on spending at the rate that you was making, then you're not booking nothing (laughs) else, then eventually you're going to be MC Hammering out here. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Or Wesley Sniping. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's really it. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, well, honestly, I'm so proud of you both. I, you. I feel like we have been friends forever, and we just met today. Yeah. Well, no, no. I've, I've met, we've I've, met a couple. We've times. met a couple times, it's but all you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so the second season of Lena Waithe and Holly Berry's BT comedy series Boomerang is coming on when? It's coming on the 11th. Yes, which is okay. tonight. Which, which is, is tonight, tonight. Yes, at 10:30 30 Eastern. Yes. yes, and literally we're gonna be live tweet and make sure you use the hashtag Boomerang on BET. Okay, go ahead and add us. We talk back, honey. We watch it. <laughs> Wait, y'all, let's get into this show. Everything and as, she said. And as someone who has seen the premiere, the two-episode premiere, Woo! let me tell you girls something listening. Buckle up. You better buckle up, Buttercup. It's good. Buckle up and wrap it up. Yeah, please wrap it up. That, listen to Ari. You know, wrap yes, it up. Yes, okay. wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs>